Hey guys, it's Stacy here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to make a beautiful wintertime wreath. Not really a Christmas wreath, although you can display it at Christmas time. I wanted one that I can put up after Thanksgiving and display it all the way up until springtime. So through those months, well after Christmas. So I wanted to make it also on a budget. I don't know if you've seen lately, but wreaths can be really expensive, close to $100, $200 in the stores and online. And so I wanted to share with you how to make one look really beautiful and really high in looking for not a lot of money. So starting off, I purchased this wreath form, this evergreen wreath form course artificial from Hobby Lobby and so it was $11.99 but there you can get their things 40 and 50% off so already a really good price for this size wreath form 24 inches so a really big beautiful nice size see the back there so I really wanted to make this look nicer, look more high and looking, because sometimes, you know, this greenery here can look a little cheap. And so buying beautiful picks like this, these gorgeous picks, and these Christmas picks were $4.99 at Hobby Lobby. And so again, 40 and 50% off anything that I buy at Hobby Lobby, it's always going to be 40, 50% off. I love to, you know, make sure I'm getting a deal there. And I think for pretty much under $3, this is a nice, beautiful, large pick to use. And you can see it just has the different touches of evergreen that look more high in looking with the pine and things like that. And already has some beautiful pine cones attached. So I think these are a really good deal. And you can see just a really strong pick this is a metal here and I'm just going to actually leave that on you can actually bend this back if you wanted to but I can really just hide it in side of the wreath and so that is my plan here guys you can see just adding that how much more full it makes this look how nice and more high and looking it looks and so I can do the same thing I bought four total and you can play around with these kind of fluff them a bit but I want to place them in four different areas around the wreath. So you see here, just working it around. And then this one can kind of go here. And then this one here. So you can just kind of hide that middle end in the wreath and look at that already how gorgeous now of course I'm just kind of showing you this I'm gonna go ahead and remove the tags and get this wired into place now you can use hot glue but if you want it to last really long term it's good to use some type of floral wire paddle wire and this one is the 26 gauge you can Pretty much find this at the Dollar Tree or Walmart and things like that and it's really inexpensive so I'm just going to kind of hide the wire by just wiring these onto the wreath form and already this is looking gorgeous. Now I just took a piece of this wire just to show you really quickly tucked in this pick so you're not going to be able to see the end. And then just kind of work it around the pick and around to the back. And I'm just going to tie it on here really tight. Just kind of pull and twist. And then just kind of wrap it around. The back here nice and secure now you can you know tie a couple of those on if you want to make sure I'm just gonna go ahead and finish working my way around so guys look how beautiful this is coming together already looks like a nice high-end looking full beautiful wreath and so you can just play around with the little branches 
kind of work them in up around the picks so that everything blends well and looks nice together. And then now I just want to add some beautiful things to my wreath. So to dress up our wreath, I really thought these beautiful jingle bells would do the trick. I think they're so pretty. They're a really nice large size. These came from Hobby Lobby, $6.99, six in a container. And I got these, again, 40, 50% off. And I just love the look, kind of that rustic look of the bells with the brown and the white but the white kind of looks like it's been snowed on and so that beautiful white pop of color I think will brighten up this wreath and give it that winter time look and so I have six in here now I could just use four and kind of just dot them around in between the picks here and I'll just secure them with a little loop here and some wire that'll really make it secure for long term. And so I could just use the four, but I think why not go ahead and use the other two. Just kind of work them in here. I think that'll be pretty. Just use them, why not? It really fills up the wreath and I think it makes it look nice and bright. So just taking a piece of wire again, just gonna run it through the top of this bell. And then just place it here on the wreath. Work my wires in around the greenery. Move the wires to the back. Pull them tight and then just twist. And do that several times so it's nice and secure. Then I can just tuck in the wire. You can see here, nice and secure. So I'm loving how this is coming together so far. I have everything nice and secure and everything kind of fluff the way I like it. Now I want to add some little cinnamon stick bundles. Now I purchased some cinnamon sticks. You can get them at different uh, stores and things like that. I just have one little one ounce container here. These came from Trader Joe's. And so I'm gonna make some little cinnamon stick bundles and I'll share with you how I do that in just a second. Now I wanna tie my little bundles with some jute twine. And this jute twine, guys, um, it's such a great deal at Walmart. I usually buy mine from Walmart because it's such a good deal. Under $2 for this whole Thing of jute twine 150 feet and so uh, you can see they have it in two different colors and normally I would use this but I thought why not use the more kind of creamy white to really make uh, you know the brown little bundles pop and so I'm going to tie a couple of these bundles and show you how I do it. Now to make cinnamon stick bundles some of the little cinnamon sticks are larger than others. So sometimes I'll just put a couple together and then maybe three. So two or three sticks at a time and tie them together. So I'm just going to use this jute twine and then you just want to tie the little bundles together. Now how cute is that? I think with a little bow here it looks super cute and the white just makes it really pop and show up. And so you can actually hot glue this into place but I again like to use some wire when I can and so you can just run your wire right here around the jute twine and then wire this to your wreath and you won't be able to see it. So guys, how cute are these little cinnamon stick bundles? And so I just want to work these into the wreath, just in a few places. And then I'll just wire those in again with a long piece of wire through the back. And then I'll just wire it on like I have the bells and the picks. 
Now guys, I'm loving the way this is looking. Now you can keep on building upon this reef, adding red berries, adding a beautiful bow. Also another beautiful kind of natural element would be some orange slices. I actually share with you in a separate video how to dry some of those in your oven and make them into ornaments. So you could make those and tie them on just like we did the cinnamon stick bundles. Now, if you want to make a beautiful bow, you could use some burlap ribbon like this or some beautiful red ribbon would be nice. But a part of me just wants to keep it like this. So once you find the top of your wreath where you want it to hang, you can flip it over to the back and I can add a hanger to the top. So you can take some wire or some of this jute twine and just cut off a piece and then you can just tie a knot in the end and then just run it underneath this wire frame and then loop it like that and it's nice and secure and you don't have to have it that long you can make it shorter just whatever So guys, what do you think? I'm loving the way that it turned out. I just love the beautiful evergreen, uh, the pine cones, the beautiful white on the bells reminds me of snow, and the scent of those cinnamon sticks reminds me of the holidays. I just love the way it turned out. I spent $25 total, and I think for the size and the look and the quality of this wreath, I think that's a really great deal. And I just have it hanging here on the back of my door in my house just to share with you what it looks like. But you can certainly build up on this make your own add what you want make it over the top I just wanted to share with you my vision for a wintertime wreath and keeping it simple and just natural looking and I just love it so guys I hope you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to my channel follow me on social media I thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one bye